Chit chit chit, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. Here live from the beautiful mountains of Connecticut. Alright, so today's topic is why should you become a developer in 2018? Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, codingphase.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro. I'm going to say this, right? I'm going to talk to the people who are blue collar guys who are out here trying to get in the game who have been working uh, you know odd jobs for the past five to ten years listen it's your turn right let's stop worrying about what people might say to you and be like oh man I don't think you could do it oh man this is for smart people oh man you gotta be really good at math guys if you really want to become something you can become it right now let's say this you're one of the guys who work in the back right I'm talking about the guys who work in, you know, in, in the warehouses, the guys who work in, you know, the uh, freaking labor type of jobs, you know, jobs that you like, man, my back hurts when I get home, you know, jobs where you, you're a retail, right, you're helping people out and you're like constantly like, hi, sir, can I help you out, uh, hi, can, can I get you that, that size, can, oh, do you need, what size do you need, you need a, a size eight, if you're tired of doing that type of job, and you feel like, man, you deserve better, I think you should become a developer. Especially because if you want to be able to grow in this world, right, those little jobs, those little odd jobs, or, you know, working as a waiter, working as a, you know, somebody in a warehouse, working UPS, retail, working data entry, talking to people on the phone. It's like, hi, sir, we're calling from XYZ. We're calling for doing some surveys. If you're tired of that, man, you should definitely look into becoming a developer because you have to understand this. When you become a developer, not only are you becoming somebody who's respected, right? You can become somebody who's getting money out here. Meaning, like, hey, you could provide a better lifestyle for yourself and your family and everybody around you. Like, in reality, it really trickles down. Let's say, for example, you have a kid, you know, your kid can't go to private school because you can't afford it, right? But if you are a developer and you're earning $80,000 to $120,000 a year, yeah, now you can afford to send your kid to, you know, that $6,000, $10,000 a year type of school. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it trickles down. So now you can help other people out. Your mama hits you up like, hey, man, uh, Johnny, man. I, can you lend me $200? Now you actually have that little extra money in there to be able to help her out, all right? So it's like, there's a lot of things that, you know, as far as money-wise, like, yes, it's a goal, okay? Um, you know, if you're one of the type of people who is basically like, hey, I'm a problem solver, right? You enjoy puzzles. You enjoy being able to find a solution or something at the end of the day, then becoming a developer is for you okay you know if you had any type of you know just interest in it right a lot of us we probably were interested in this in back in the days GeoCities or uh, MySpace or uh, Zanga uh, you know it's a whole bunch of websites where we all grew up at you get what I'm saying like there was websites and and applications and in games that had had us interested in this right for whatever reason in this world we didn't get to gravitate to actually making our own websites our own games our own applications you know life threw us a different way but that doesn't mean that you cannot become a developer now in 2018 who cares you're 30 who cares you're 25 who cares you're 40 that's not a, a, a block that's gonna stop you right it's not gonna stop you to become a developer What's going to stop you from becoming a developer is you. You might just come in and say, hey, man, I'm too old, man. My time has passed and give up. But that's the opposite thing that you should do, man. You should definitely try to get into this industry, right? Right now is the best time. Once you're in, you're in for life. 
Have you ever heard of like you know when you know like back in the days like the old Italian guys were like, hey man, uh, we got little Vinny in in, in, in the you know you know in construction. Now he's good. He's making fifty dollars an hour, and for the rest of his life, he's in there. He's doing construction. He's building stuff, and you know his life is good, right? That's how it is now. But for web development, right? It's like, hey, you're in, you're in for life. Like, you're good. You get what I'm saying? So. You should definitely try to become a developer. And not even try, just become a developer. The opportunities that you're gonna get, you can't even measure it, right? You can't even say, hey man, I'm gonna measure this with a ruler. This is how far I'm gonna get in life. No, it's like sky's the limit, right? You could come up with an application, you could come up with a website, you could come up with a service tomorrow that can change everybody's life. And not only everybody's life, but yours too. From one moment to another, you can become, you know, just a regular developer who, you know, codes and works at a company for, you know, sixty to one hundred twenty thousand dollars or even more, right? To becoming a millionaire because now you just created a service that everybody needs and everybody needs to be a member of or everybody needs to to use or you're getting so much traffic that your advertising is paying you millions. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is, man. Now, a lot of people are gonna be leaving comments like, hey man, this, you know, this video is not technical. It's not telling us the programming languages. It's not telling me how to become a developer, how to do this and that. This video is not to be technical. This video is me talking to the general public. Somebody who's out there thinking like man can I do this listen yes you can you know when I came into this you know five six years ago I wasn't nobody special you know I wasn't like hey man this guy is super smart this guy is it's a genius no I was just a, a guy with a dream who said man you know IT is not for me you know designing is not for me right sometimes you try you know two three different careers and you realize it's not for you and then you bump into, you know, web development, programming, phone applications, whatever you're into, right? You bump into that and you're like, wait, this is actually calling for me. And I could actually change my life. So that's what happened to me. I just came in and I said, you know what? I'm going to become a developer, man. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to work hard. It's going to be a lot of hours. <laughs> man, who wants to be in front of a computer for 12 hours? 15 hours a day that's how I was doing it when I first started I went super hard do you have to go that hard no you could go in and do three four hours a day and you know in about six months you should be ready you know now of course how many hours you put in if you need it as soon as possible how I needed it at that time how I needed to become a developer at that moment well I went hard I work three times as hard as the regular person trying to get into this. And that's fine. But my only advice to you guys is don't let nothing stop you now. Right? We are in 2018. You know, everything that has happened in your life, you might have had, you know, a kid, two kids, three kids. You might have had, you know, uh, a little running with the law. You might have came in and, and said, hey, man, uh, you went to college. You decided to go to a college for a degree that doesn't pay you anything. There's no jobs. Don't cry about it. Right? Don't cry about it. Just get something done. Right? Become a developer. Learn how to code and basically change your life around. You know, right now, a lot of people will probably say, man, I think you're trying to get the wrong or people into this because there's guys who have been coding their whole life there's guys who are like you know the quote-unquote geniuses there's the guys who are uh, looking at this like oh man this is for the passion you know some of us don't don't need the passion right we do it because we have to right we do it because we want to change right the passion comes in after you're in right you might become more passionate as you keep on learning to code you might say hey man this is super cool. I love this, right? At first, you might look at it like, hey, it's a check. I'm just trying to change my life. I'm trying to get this money. You, yeah, you can come in like that. It's fine. But 
as soon as you start coding, you start learning a lot of different technologies and programming languages. You start falling in love with it, right? So it's like, listen, just get in the game. There's the opportunity. And once again, why you should come in, right? I'm going to break it down. I just talk to you guys in, in real terms and just to get you motivated and get you started with this, right? Basically, the money is good benefits you also getting you know on um, 401ks you're getting like stuff that a lot of companies a lot of little dead-end jobs is not gonna offer you you get respect right when you're a developer and you work at a company you get respect yes there's weird companies out there that were you know they might look at the developers like IT's or whatever but 95% of the companies out there they look at you like, hey man, these are the rock stars. These are the guys that are moving this company forward. Everybody knows that the net, you know, the internet, the, the web is the future. Technology is the future. If you don't have technology and you don't have the guys that are actually building this, you know, you don't have a business. So right now you are the rock star of the company. You get what I'm saying? So when you come into a company, they treat you with respect. You know, and there's not a lot of companies that are going to treat you like that. You know, you're Johnny from Warehouse. Hey, make sure you put that in the truck, kid. Right? That's all you're going to get. You know, a little pat on the back like, hey, man, good job. Nah. It's like, you did your job. You did your 12 hours. Good good job, kid. Your back is broken. Your, your neck hurts. Your arm feels weird because you've been holding this high-low all day. Like, there's situations like that where it's like, do you really want to end up like that your, the rest of your life? No. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, in this industry, you get treated with respect. And, you know, most of the, the other developers will treat you with respect, too. You know, so come in, give it a try. It's 2018, and, yeah, I hope you take this video and, and use it for motivation. I hope you take this video and, and learn as much as you can. You know, you could go to any of the websites that are there. Like, you know, you can use whatever you want. I currently have my own courses on my own website, codingface.com. You can come in, check it out. If you like the, the style of me teaching, the, the style of just the realness of me just talking to you like a regular human being. We're not here trying to sound super smart. We're not here trying to sell you a dream. We're trying to be realistic with things and teach you a skill that you can use and get higher and become you know, somebody respected. Okay, so you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. It's your boy Joe.